Hey guys, this is Mr. Hans, uh, PBS uh, Unit 4.1.2 uh, activity. Uh, we'll be doing a heart dissection today. Uh, so let me just go over some uh, basic tools that you'll be using. So uh, this is a pan. I'm gonna keep this uh, paper on, but you guys will uh, take this off and actually use uh, this part of the pan for your dissection. Okay, so uh, you, everyone will get a dissection kit where there's a couple tools in here. Uh, you'll have a clear plastic ruler right here, uh, a spare scalpel blade. These are pins to help uh, pin down parts of the specimen. Uh, scissors. Um, you'll have four, uh, blunt, a blunt probe, uh, another pin, uh, droppers, forceps or tweezers, and also scalpels. Now the scalpels, uh, you'll have to attach the blade onto here, uh, which I'll show you guys uh, in a later video. Um, so everyone will get a sheet part, every group. Uh, today we're just going to focus on more of the external anatomy. Okay, uh, so right here, this is the uh, the sheet part, okay, and you'll see that it's covered in. There's some parts right here. There's there's fat. The whitish parts are fat. Uh, the more of the uh, reddish brown parts are uh, the heart muscle or what we call the myocardium okay um, <clears throat> this structure right here is the right atrium uh, the part that sticks out right here uh, this ear like part is called the auricle so it would be the uh, right auricle and this entire structure right here would be the uh, right atrium. Uh, on this side is the left um, atrium, this entire thing right here. Uh, this flap that sticks out like an ear is called the uh, left auricle. Okay. Um, it's pretty tough to de uh, determine which side is the left and right uh, ventricle. Uh, in order to do that you actually have to find where the uh, coronary arteries are. Uh, there's some kind of membrane right here, some skin, uh, but you could tell. Let me just get some of this skin out of the way. Uh, uh, right along here, this ridge right here, you have to clear some of this out, but this is the. Uh, divide right here between the left ventricle here and the the right ventricle right here okay. uh, if you feel it if you actually push down on it uh, the right ventricle is a little more squishy than the uh, left ventricle uh, the reason for that is because the left ventricle uh, is a lot more muscular it has to be able to pump the blood to uh, the different parts of the body while the right ventricle only needs to pump the blood to uh, the <clears throat> The lungs. Okay, so this is an adult sheet part. Um, on the back right here, if you turn it up, there is this opening. Uh, so you'll be using the blunt probe to actually find this. Uh, this opening right here. Uh, this is the superior vena cava. Okay, and this is going to lead to the auricle. And we know that this is the auricle, sorry, make that the uh, right atrium because this leads directly to it. Okay, you can actually stick your finger in here or if your finger is too big like mine, then you can you know, stick a uh, blunt probe here. And as you can see, it leads directly to the uh, right atrium. Okay, so this would be, this hole would be uh, the vena cava. Okay. Um, Above that, right here, uh, these holes right here, um, they are, this entire structure right here, this is an artery, a major artery of the heart. Uh, it's called the aorta. The aorta supplies blood to, um, <clears throat> from the heart, oxygenated blood from the heart, from the left ventricle, uh, to uh, pretty much the entire body. Okay, so this entire structure is called the aorta, but it branches off into two parts. So this would be... Uh, the brachiocephalic artery, okay, 
and this would be um, the part of the aorta that got kind of cut off but the brachiocephalic um, if you actually stick the probe into it and all the way down it actually does lead into the left ventricle right here if you actually like stick it all the way down uh, there is some resistance because oh there you go it's not much resistance <laughs> but you can see how much the probe has gone into um, the heart okay and same thing with the the remaining part of the aorta right here you could actually like stick a probe in there and then you know move it around go all the way down to the heart okay. uh, let's see any other structures uh, later on we'll be removing this fat okay but uh, for today I just want you guys to find like the uh, basic structure of the heart uh, you will be making toothpick flags um, like this here uh, you know just a toothpick you can put a piece of tape on it and you know right left ventricle and just like stick it on the heart right here it's like like that so uh, that way uh, when you guys uh, finish with today's part you can review the different parts of the heart so and then take a picture of it uh, that's it for the external anatomy um, oh one more thing uh, this is if you put the heart like this where we can see the right ventricle on this side the right ventricle and the left ventricle on this side um, this is called the ventral view okay the ventral view is when you're looking down at uh, the chest of the person down at the heart. Okay, the reverse side would be the dorsal view. The dorsal view would be the back side. This is actually the back side of the heart. Um, one thing I forgot: uh, this part right here. Uh, this is called the apex. So the apex is the the uh, tip right here of the heart, and it's part of the left ventricle. Okay, uh, I think I pretty much covered all the things that you'll be. Oh, there's one more, I'm sorry. Um, this one right here. This right here. This is the uh, pulmonary uh, artery. This is this will lead to the lungs. Okay, so this is the aorta. This entire structure is the aorta. This whole, um, the aorta is going to branch off the brachiocephalic here. This is the other part of the aorta. Uh, this is the pulmonary arteries which lead to the lungs and you can tell uh, because this is going to go to the right ventricle so you can actually stick your probe in there and, and find out how deep it goes okay, okay that's about it um, thank you for watching